without St. Columba's, this particular time in my life probably would not have been um, as easy to navigate. Um, it was 2008, and uh, my sons were 12 and 8, and everything was going along well, and we found out pretty unexpectedly and suddenly that our oldest son, Will, um, had stage 4 lymphoblastic lymphoma. You know, we, we had to make a lot of decisions quickly and we had to get a lot of information. He was hospitalized for a very long period of time initially because he was extremely ill. St. Columbus was there for us. And without me actually having to do anything but let one friend know what was going on, um, it all of a sudden felt like the entire parish had sort of wrapped their arms around us. When my son was sick, um, I really felt held up in prayer. And I had heard that expression before, but I hadn't really thought about it as applying to me or really thought about what that might mean or feel like. And during the time of his illness, um, and since his death, actually, I know what that feels like. I s felt that during the time of his illness, in all the different ways that the people of St. Columbus, people we knew and people we didn't know at all, reached out to us. And it, it went beyond sort of the expected things. I mean, the expected things of people delivering meals and writing notes and visits from the priests. Um, it was a, a really powerful feeling of the caring of the community. And, and Will's illness, you know, Will's cancer didn't respond to the chemotherapy. It was a very quick, in, in terms of time from diagnosis to his death, it was four and a half months. So it was a very intense, quick, um, sort of unbelievable time period. But the constancy of St. Columba's um, sort of kept me going. By the time that I sort of came out of the initial fog of being a bereaved parent and sort of got my life going back again into whatever the new normal was going to be, I realized that I was really struggling with what to do with my situation. Um, um, because I thought that what can I do to honor my son's life and remember him and try to help other people who are suffering. And I think in my search for meaning, I kept coming back to St. Columbus and I found so much comfort in being here every Sunday. So I found out about Stephen Ministry and found out that they were going to be training some new Stephen ministers in 2011, in the beginning of 2011. And so without really thinking about it too much, which I'm glad that I didn't. I think it was a real call. I think it was God in my life telling me this is the next thing for you to do. So finding this smaller group and finding a, a ministry that let me sort of think about the way that my son lived his life and the way I wanted to live my life now, something that would meet those needs and give back to St. Columbus at the same time was really powerful. I really think that being a part of Stephen Ministry sort of saved me in these last few years.